Hello and welcome to my channel. I am the virtual truck instructor and this time we are not going for a drive. Someone asked to explain what my settings are. So that's what we are going, going to do. Will not be a very long uh, video. Just going through the settings. The refresh rate uh, for me is 90 Hertz. It's uh, in the software of my Pimax Crystal. And that's the headset I always use. Uh, when you want to get a better performance, I use a program that's called... Uh, I st uh, again lost the name of of the uh, software as always when i need it it's it's gone uh, it's in an open vr fsrr it's a small uh, program and I, I will put the link uh, down in the description as well as a link to a video where is explained uh, how it's working and what settings you can use. It should be uh, working for uh, the Quest and other Oculus uh, headsets. But watch that video and you will see uh, how it's going. For VR the scaling is uh, always at 100%. That's the best thing. Anti-aliasing, I disabled it because I don't see much difference. Uh, and this one is for me at medium. It also doesn't do a lot for me. Depth of field is uh, off because you don't need that in VR. Uh, it probably even uh, makes things worse. The sun shafts, uh, some people don't like it. In my uh, Oculus Rift S that I had before, it, I had this off. But in my uh, Pimax Crystal, it's all, everything is so uh, good and, and uh, the resolution is so high, I can keep this on. Uh, where I start most of the time is to in simple settings uh, put it on high and then come back to the advanced uh, settings and experiment a bit what's working and what's not. Uh, the details in vegetation and grass are uh, pretty heavy on the screen and also uh, those in the mirror. So uh, that's a choice you have to make. I uh, for me, this is working. So I have the grass and the shadow on low, vegetation and the reflection on medium, and all the other things on high. The only thing uh, that's off is uh, pedestrians. Uh, they uh, are graphical uh, a bit heavy on the system and I don't need them to make it uh, look real. So that's it uh, about the graphics. Yeah, in the gameplay uh, there's a lot of things you can set. I personally uh, don't do the sleep thing and don't do any uh, traffic offenses because I almost always drive too fast because I like it and that's a thing you can do in a game and not on the road and I like to drive uh, mostly as daytimes because the, the <coughs> you see much more at the daytime <coughs> sorry about the cough it's a bit itchy in my throat. Uh, the speed warning is on in the uh, route advisor. I don't do the, the 
automatic parking di dialogue. I have it all. Uh, I think it's on uh, skilled parking. Yes, and that's in a Euro Truck Simulator. In American Truck Simulator, I have it on random parking, because uh, the trucks are much different than in Europe, and I didn't drive that much in them. So sometimes I make mistakes. Also in, in Euro Truck Simulator, I am still a human. Sometimes I'm a bit too hasty and I want to do it quick and then things go wrong as well. You will see that in some videos uh, also. I have the uh, ro uh, random road events and the detours on low and the rain uh, on zero because I like a beautiful weather and especially when uh, driving around and recording uh, I don't like the rain it, it is your visibility goes down so much and your truck sli uh, starts sliding like you're on ice so that's not what I like and I think everybody should uh, know for themselves what they like and do what they like because it's a game and you should have fun with it. So I'm not going to say you have to do that uh, and I don't accept it from other people as well because I want to have fun and if you don't like it, uh, it's no problem for me. Uh, I lose. Uh, I use the, the shifter, and uh, that's the H shifter. Uh, the steering range is for me at 900 degrees. I use a Logitech G27 with a, a truck uh, shifter on it. I didn't uh, use the camera now because it's in the way. I tried to record it earlier and there was much more stuttering for me as I did in the beginning because I couldn't remember the name of, of the program. I uh, will also show uh, in the, the, the program uh, shortly as, as a, a, an image of uh, the whole stuttering I think that's the best place to put it. Truck and trailer stability is on 100%. Uh, that's because if I let it uh, shake and, and uh, wobble, I will get sick in virtual reality. So I need to have this all at 100%. If you are on the monitor, you can do that and you see the, the truck move much more. But when you're inside the truck with the VR uh, glasses on, you will eventually get sick. Even with these settings, when you're on a, a dirt road, sometimes you, you feel it tingling in your stomach already. I also disabled the uh, speed limiter so I can drive as fast as I want and as fast as the tr uh, truck will go. Rain sensor I don't need. I have my uh, stock for it and at the uh, steering wheel. The retarder is uh, not on automatic because it causes sometimes uh, the, the blockage of the brakes. And I don't like that braking uh, suddenly very hard. Uh, the engine brake it uh, is on. So when I tap the brake gently, uh, the engine brake will work. Uh, I have a start and stop button, but I still keep it uh, the, the automatic engine and electricity start on. Because it's uh, when the motor shuts down, because I have a wrong gear or do something uh, that the game doesn't like and the motor shuts down will start immediately as you uh, put your foot on the gas. Uh, the parking brake is not on automatic because I have it on the uh, 
de, de uh, stick as well. This is on automatic. Uh, the air brakes is on. The fuel consumption, I don't care about that. I keep my tanks full, so. And uh, the anti-lock braking I have on because uh, it locks so much uh, every time. I, even with, with the brakes on, on only 60%, the, the brakes will lock uh, so quickly. So I decided to do the anti-lock braking system. Although I, uh, when I drove the trucks and, and uh, they, they didn't have it at all and I never had locking brakes, but yeah, that's something in the game. Traction control is also on because sometimes the, the, it starts uh, gliding. The adaptive cruise control and the emergency brake system is both disabled because I don't like it when the system is uh, breaking for me because it's doing that on strange moments. I don't use automatic headlights or beams. I have also those on the stock and I do that myself. Sometimes I like to have the headlights on because you can see uh, uh, something and if you have uh, people coming to you, uh, you you don't see anything. And automatic blinker is on the steering wheel, so it's off as well. And the camera settings are for me are not uh, used because I have my my virtual reality glasses. I can look wherever I want, and this is all. Uh, what you you like to have so uh, I have no chat as ed, uh, enabled at the moment I still drive alone in the truck so and that's it for the settings and the keys and buttons I uh, I can show you my controls it's a keyboard I don't use that much the Logitech G27 is my steering wheel. I have an SRS knob that is with, with two buttons, or well, actually three. There's also a push button that I use for the memory of the cruise control. And this is, uh, as I remember well, the, the for, for the, the small stick I have, what I use for the cruise control, opening the windows. And then I have here my setup for the wheel. I have the H shifter, normal power mode when the automatic transmission is on, but it's not there. This is the settings I use when steering. Uh, here are the settings of the wheel itself. Uh, I have the force feedback settings pretty uh, low. Under steer slip, I have it on zero, but it still happens. And uh, way too much. You actually should have uh, oversteer, not understeer. And here we have some small corrections in the, de uh, the dead zones because I don't like it when it immediately reacts when I touch the pedal. So I, you have to uh, set that to your own uh, use. It's just uh, trying and, and doing that. And these are the shifting positions. If you want, will look more at it, please pause. And that's also for the other settings, otherwise the video will be very, very long. And this is the two buttons uh, for the, the side button and the button in the front. And I think that is it. I will put the links for, for the, uh, the graphics, uh, the, the extra program down and also uh, a link to a video I found about this 
little program uh, to how you you set those settings that's it for me at the moment thank you for watching if you liked it please give me a thumbs up and if you want to see more of my driving and explaining other things please subscribe and hit the bell icon so you will be notified when there is a new video coming up thank you for watching bye